It had been a week since Ruck had escaped from a deadly canyon. A week crawling and scraping across the Mojave, trying to get to a small town called Monroeville. It was in their backup plan. If one of them went missing, they'd stay at this small town. Ruck was afraid they may have moved on, but that small bit of hope kept him going. Oh, oh, Big Hat, yeah. Big Hat, you happy to see Ruck? Oh yeah, you are, Big Hat. How you doing, Big Hat? Let me see them laser eyes. Okay. All right, I won't see the laser eyes. Let's go. Where's, uh... Oh, the back? Okay. The check. Ooh. Got a whole bunch of places here. Belching Brahmin. Rusty's Repairs. Sleeping Quarters. Oh, hello there. Sally Whiplash. What do you need? Oh, it's me, Ruck. How are you doing, Sally? All right. Bye. Take care, Sally. You got... Is, uh, is uh, Duncan inside? All right, let's go inside. Duncan, you dirty dog. How the hell are you, Duncan? All right. The Ruck gang's back. Everything's on the line. Wow, that's a interesting flag you have. Uh, hello, you were talking to my friend Duncan over- Yes! What the fuck are you gawking at, Normie? Jesus. Normie, you- you ugly mother trucker. Normie. Oh, right. Excuse you. I forgot that you're kind of used to being called smooth skins. Haven't heard another ghoul say Normie since Necropolis. But that was a long time ago. A week. Sorry, I got lost in thought. So, why are you bothering me, smooth skin? My uh, friend was talking to you, but uh, I would like to know the entire story of your life. My story is too goddamn long, so I'll just go over the important bits. Birthdays 5 through 10. I was a riot officer in Bakersfield before the war. Got ghoulified after the door of the vault I was in didn't close all of the way. After that, our leader set established the Necropolis, a safe haven for ghouls from all the bigots out there in the wasteland. At least it was, till the master sent his big green bastards in there to wipe us all out. Damn nearly did too. Only a small group of us managed to survive. Traveled with the survivors for quite a while, till I eventually took up bodyguard work in New Reno. <gasps> Didn't end well though. Made my way to Vegas to start anew, which is where I met Rusty, and together, we built the town that you're standing in. Hell, it's even named after me. Wait, what? Now I'm here, slowly rotting away in the shack, making sure that shit doesn't hit the fan. That's about it, really. Well, minus few gruesome details. Oh, boy. Uh, you should come with me, Robert. Your towns are being wasted sitting here. Wow, you've lived one hell of a life, Robert. Enjoyed dying in this shack. Um, also, real quick, I will be playing the uh, New Vegas, New Reno mod, uh, hopefully this coming week. Uh, I do have to replay through uh, the first two parts of that mod, because there are choices that are saved. So I have to replay through the other ones. So this coming week, we will have the newest New Reno out. Uh, yeah, come with me, Robert. You know what? You're right. The guards are far more than enough to keep this place safe, and I need to change your scenery before I go feral. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what, when you do go... Alright then, Jack. Let's hit the road. Uh, okay. Name's not Jack. Necropolis Vanguard perk. First sign of ferocity. We're shooting your head off. Necropolis Vanguard. While Robert is your companion, your radiation resistance is increased by 10% and damage threshold by plus 3. Ooh, very very nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Robert. Oh, Robert, it looks like I can steal from you. I can steal from you. I can poop in your bed. I can do any damn thing I want. Oh, I'm going to steal your money. Oh, Robert, you fool. You let Ruck into your life. Now he's taking it. Oh, I can I can see what's going on in here. Ma'am, are you a nurse, doctor, doctor, doctor? 
Dr. Newman, I apologize. Sorry I said you, you were a nurse. I, I do apologize. Hey there, youngster. You need to check up. I am a 60-year-old man. Uh, yeah, I'll buy some supplies. Oh, sure thing. Here's what I've got. Hmm. Well, rockets, uh, yeah, you should, uh, you should stock up. Don't go too crazy, though. You should have done this before. Another satisfied customer. When you were in that canyon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dr. Newman, you have a key. Well, someone's, someone's a damn genius. I'm taking this, though. One of these days, Red Lucy's gonna show off her death claws. Oh. Uh, I am unsure if the guards are supposed to have uh, voices. They may, but not completely sure. All right, so we got sleeping quarters. Uh, let's go to the first building that we encounter. So, yeah. All right. Uh, what the f <laughs> What the hell? Ruck saw a familiar face. He that just, fiend leader got what he fucking deserved. That face he'd seen a thousand times in this weird hellhole of a city. Groovatron, stop asking me. Come on down, the atomic... <clears throat> oh. Oh. <clears throat> okay, yeah. You, you, you can't help thinking that we've not seen the last of the fiends yet. Does no one smell that? Oh my god. Yeah, okay, d you don't have a nose. Uh, I hope the fiends have learned their lesson. Everyone just shut your... Careful with those fiends God. in the western sewers. Clark Morgan. Hey there, name's Clark, and this here's the... Belchin <coughs> Brahmin. Can I take your order? But Ruck wasn't looking for a drink. He was looking for work. Although he probably... He probably should have some water. You know what? Now that you mention it, I do have a task for a merc like yourself. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Recently discovered that the Garrets are in possession of a vintage 84 wine. 1984. I want that bottle. I need that bottle. Bring me that wine, and I will be willing to pay you a hefty amount of caps. My God. All right. Get some water. Sure thing. Take a look at my stock. Oh, God. You need some water, buddy. Okay. Bye. Come back soon. I said that. Oh. Shut. Don't stop talking to people. Hey, um... Come on down, the atomic. Oh. oh, okay. Let's let's go. Rusty's repairs is next, everyone. Hey, good old Rusty. You got a. The bosses of the Omergas, or Omernas, the ones that run Gamora. Someone killed them. You should uh, wash your hands before you stick your butthole fingers in your mouth. Hey there, friend. What can I do for you? What I can do for you? Don't put your butthole fingers in your mouth. Is there any work to be found around here? Well, there is one thing I could use your help with. Get your motor running! A group of fiend bastards came along a few nights ago and ripped the engine right out of my motorcycle. It took me months of tinkering to get that baby up and running. So if you could get the engine back for me. It'd be much appreciated. Ruck Bitten had carried many engines in his lifetime. Find Rusty's modified motorcycle engine. He believes the fiends at Vault 3. And find some wine. Okay. Uh, repair, trade. Why do people call you Rusty? Well, most folk will tell you that it's because of my age. Bastards. Oh. But I like to think it's because I'm handy with scrap and all other kinds of gizmos. Other people say it's because of my butthole and I never wipe. Okay, um... All right, then. You take care now. All right, whatever, Rusty. Uh, keep it up. You're doing a great job. You got... Oh, you got a bathtub back there? Hey, where do you pee? Oh, you got a broken toilet. I know where you pee. Go straight... Straight in them pipes. All right, um... What's next? Sleeping quarters, and we checked out that. I think, I don't think there's anything in sleeping quarters. Just people walking around, sleeping and stuff. That's normal. Hey there. Okay. Mind my business, you mind yours. I'll mind my yours, you mind your business. Uh, uh, who? All right, cool. All right, uh, wine or shooting people in the face. Uh, let's go shoot some people in the face. I, I do not want to go get wine. Although I am kind of curious. Like, are we going to be stealing the wine? Alright. 
Uh, Robert, I don't know if you've been around here before, but uh, just start chucking grenades. Hey. There, there you go. Had enough. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that, that blimp's a little bit far away from Vegas. You get him? Hey, you didn't kill anyone, you idiots. You kill a damn one. Time for a dirt nap. <laughs> time for a dirt nap. No. No, it is time for a dirt nap. All right. Whoa! Look at you. You're all fancy. You're dead. Whoa, whoa, Susan. Susan. Calm down, Susan. Sally. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoops, Rick Duncan said the wrong name. Al, his name's not Rick Duncan, it's Ruck Binton. <laughs> Ruck Binton, I, uh, you, you need to apologize. It's coming on through. Looking for a motorcycle. Oh, God. Wait, is that, okay. Whew. All right, Ruck, you may oh, you may be doing kind of good, but you better watch out. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. Chasm, you need to shut your mouth right now. The hell were you, Duncan? Oh. Oh, 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 God. Ruck walked into what seemed like a massacre. Bodies everywhere. Surely someone had been here before. And the Vault 3 fiends weren't as lucky as they thought they were. The smell of rotting flesh and old blood filled the corridors. You like the sight of your own blood. But there was fresh blood to be spilled. And Ruck was ready to take it straight out of the femur. Come on, Ruck. God, I know you were in a canyon, but Jesus. Whoa, whoa, careful. <laughs> Rusty's modified motorcycle engine. Femur's note. Why the fuck did we take this piece of shit in the first place? Who does these people think I am a fucking miracle worker? Just because I can repair guns still mean I can fix a motherfucking motorcycle. I need some jet. The rest of the words are illegible to the human eye. All right, big hat. You're going to have to read this note. Side is ours. Had enough? Time for a dirt nap, asshole. You tell them about that dirt nap. You get 4 dollars off right now if you get that dirt nap. Jesus Christ, some frames. All right, Ruck, where's the, where's the beer? Where's the beef? Is it in the back? It looks like it. Wait here, okay, buddy? All right, but don't go kill him without me. Oh, don't you worry, Robert. I would never. Okay, didn't want to do that. Do you not have any stealth boys? Well, you did, you did just get a, out of a canyon. Oh, God, oh, God, don't move, Ruck. Oh, God, don't. She's gonna take a dump. Oh, she's taking a dump, Ruck. Oh, she, I bet, I bet you fifty dollars she's taking a dump. Oh, she's taking a dump. Oh, I could take, ah, okay, fine. I owe you fifty dollars, Ruck. Where the, where is this? It's an old bottle of poop. Where is it? Oh, wait, wait, is it upstairs? Ruck, you can do this. Ruck. I have faith in you. Oh no. Oh, 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 I, okay. I understand. Ruck Benton, it's been approved. Oh, Jesus. Okay, real close. Oh my god. Oh, oh, where's the wine? You found the safe containing the wine. Find the key. Oh my god. It's the first time I've ever found a key that quickly. What? Wait, where's the, where's the, oh, it's in the, okay. Oh, God. Oh, God, get it. Wait, what does this vintage wine give us? What if I drank it? <laughs> H2O plus 15, charisma plus one, int uh, intelligence, interior, minus one, strength plus one. All right. 
All right, Ruck, you just gotta get out of here. Oh, damn it! What the hell are you doing, you idiots? Come on. Big Hat, Big Hat to was uh, he stayed where he was supposed you to. You must have some real pull with house to get inside the lucky thirty-eight. <laughs> Everyone's so drunk in this. Hey, in this bar, come on. About damn time. About damn time. Come on, Big Hat. Uh, hey. I hear the NCR I and the king. Shut up. Welcome back, friend. What can I get you? I'm about to close up the bar. Hey, Clark, I uh, managed to get that wine you needed. Oh, you got it? Let me see. Oh, my God. Gee, many Christmas. My, you actually got it. You made one barkeep very happy today, as well as pissing off two others in the process. Here's your reward, friend. Spend it in good health. Oh, thank you very much, Clark. Yep. You have a great day. A fine vintage. Yes. All right, and motorcycle man. Guess what? I found your engine, Rusty. Would you look at that? And uh, not a single scratch on it. Mm -hmm. Please take these caps for your trouble, and don't forget to stop back soon. Now you're always welcome here, friend. Oh, thank you, Rusty. Does uh, Ruck get a disc? A hundred fifty bottle caps. A hundred. Do you know how many people we had to kill? Hey there, friend. All right, fine. Uh, repair? I just want to see this, uh, dialogue. No problem. Let me take a look at what you've got. Take a look at what I've got. Repair it all. I'd like to trade. Sure thing. Take a look at what I've got. This is what I've got. That's what you've got. Give me weapon repair kits and some water. Give me a shout if you need anything else. All right, whatever. All right, then. You take care now. Oh, you take care now, how in the head of banner, how? Who works? Who works at this, uh, station? Does anyone work here? Hello? What about this one? You got jugs of water. I think that's everyone. Oh. Oh my goodness. Garf Junkus. What are you doing over here? What's, what's going on? Hey, my name's Garf. Got any lights on you? Gotta make some light. Uh, do, do you need a light? Yes, yes. Matches. Lighters. Flames. I, I need flames. Okay, okay. Okay, Garf. Calm down. Fight or light. Ooh, the ant man. That's a good idea. Also, I may have added this quest myself to pad out the video. Just shoot him down, Rook. These metal men ain't gonna be standing for too much longer. Also, that one stood still, so that was kind of weird. Oh! Come on, Ruck, you got this. Here you go. Show them what life's like. Do you not have a gun, Robert? <laughs> Where'd your gun go, Robert? Do you not have a gun? Oh, hot dog. No more flames for you. You know, we Do should just that? bring back one of these flamers for the, uh, for that guy. Hey, this doesn't involve you. Good way to get killed. All right, um. Gas valve. Put this in a balloon or some some garbage. All right, let's give him his gas. Let's give this man his gas. Do you enjoy the sight of your I own hate blood? Everyone in this game. Cut it out, will you? Shut up, Duncan. I'm trying to kill this baby. Okay. Hello. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. Greetings from Rook. Flames, flames, flames. Yeah, I found some fire for you. Oh, yes, fire. Thank you. No, Jesus, problem. Get the hell out of the fire, you idiot. We're in a pack of gasoline on your back, dumbass. Jesus. All right, well, uh, best of luck, buddy. Enjoy the flames. I don't know how, it was like, probably like a, an 
hour or two, I'd say, that last. And he's going to be looking for flames again. Yeah, thanks, Chasm. Thanks for nothing. All right, everyone, that does it for Monroeville, a small town mod version 1.5 by the Grizzly Joker or just Grizzly Joker. Thanks for watching, everyone. This was a neat little mod. Next week, we will be playing Tales of New Reno Episode 2, Black Napkins, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the future. Oi!